Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be quite the long one because I'm going to be explaining the FNAF floor. That's right, so get ready. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sorry if some of this may be incorrect, but I, do I care is the question. I don't care. Anyway, to begin with, in U uh, Utah, the United States, there's these two friends, William Afton and Henry Emily. Each had three children of their own. I think, I can't quite remember how many children Henry Emily had, but whatever. Who gives a crap, but... Um, anyway... They had an idea that would make them a lot of money. And it had to do with kids. Um, and they did not hesitate. They went to work right away and made something not too bad for the uh, for the 1900s. Something called Spring Lock Technology. And just to let you know, um, they, I don't. It's hard to pinpoint where the FNAF timeline actually starts like when Fred, Fred Bear's family diner was made but a lot of people assume it's sometime in the late 1970s or the early 1980s which makes sense because of the bite of 83 but we'll get into that later um so okay huh, what was it? okay yeah so Henry Emily and William Afton made these new technology called spring lock technology basically that you could wear these suits like you could wear them to perform cook and st do stuff like that but they could also be used as animatronic suits with endoskeletons in them and so they made the first two spring lock animatronics fredbear and spring bonnie and well it's hard to actually know what Fredbear looked like. We know what Spring Bonnie looked like. But a lot of people assume he he looked like he did in UCN, which I probably agree with. So, <coughs> uh, they created Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. And they created this place, Fredbear's Family Diner, where they would sell pizza, cakes, Mainly pizza and cakes. Uh, parents would sit back, watch as their children admired the animatronics and had fun playing arcade games. I don't know if it had arcade games. Wh whatever. Let's just keep going. Anyway, um, William Afton and Henry Emily, they showed their children these animatronics. And, like, her. And... Williams Afton's son, uh, it's actually hard to, like, the crying child, you know who he is. Yeah, it's hard to actually pinpoint what his name is. Some think it's Chris, some think it's Evan, but I'm gonna go by Evan. Anyway, Evan loved Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. Ma namely, Fred Bear. Oh, but, whatever. Anyway, the business got so popular that, that... They opened a second location. Instead of Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie, they added Freddy, Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie the Bunny, Chica the Chicken, and Foxy the Pirate Fox. And this might have made both of them wealthy people, and especially William, because he's been wanting to do this. I'm clearly sure. But William wasn't a good man. He had these urges to kill. And he was very destructive cruel, and abusive at home. Was he a good father or not? Probably not. But he still cared for his children. Whatever. They opened a second restaurant, uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And no, it wasn't FNAF 1's location. No, that happens before... No, that happens after FNAF 2. No. So you know the Withered Animatronics, right? Yeah, when the Wither animatronics had their faces were basically unwithered, they were performing. And so, things were honestly going pretty well for the both of them. But then, William 
one time he looked he looked at his pizzeria and out out to his pizzeria pizza pizzeria and then looked to the spring money suit with one idea in mind to kill because like I said he's a very cool man and purple guy so anyway he goes in the backstage with the spring money suit and puts it on and then lures these kids five kids into the back. Now, these kids were having the best time of their lives. They were having such a good time. Such, such, such a good time. Playing arcade games at um, Freddy Bear's Family Diner. Spring Bonnie, or Willie Mapton, lured them into the backstage with a surprise for them. And it was a surprise they quite weren't expecting. They thought it was going to be like cake, whatnot, but instead the surprise they got was a knife, and William Afton put put them to sleep. Let's just say that. Put them to sleep. Anyway, when parents were getting ready to go, they realized that their child was missing. And they at, and they looked everywhere, and no one n- no one knew where their children where their children were. And eventually, they had to file a missing children report or a missing persons report. Anyway, uh, the police suspected William might have done it since he was wearing a spring bonnie suit. Many people saw, and looked like he was luring something into the back. But they couldn't charge him because they found no bodies. And that's because William stuffed them all into the Freddy suit, the Bonnie suit, the Chica suit, and the Foxy suit. And and the fifth child, Cassidy, into the fo- in the in, into the Fredbear suit. Okay? Into the Fredbear suit. Now now after this Parents started to know at notice at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza that the animatronics were smelling weirdly, almost like there was a, bo- a like a rotting body inside of them. And due to this, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closes down. And William Henry kind of starts to suspect William did it, but he doesn't have any evidence for sure. But he doesn't kind of want to work with him. Things got a little heated between the two of them. Fred Bears was still open, obviously. And, well, um, oh, oh, also, I forgot to mention this. During, while Fred and Fazbear's Pizza was still open, they sold merchandise. And Evan Afton got early copies of these, which are the Freddy Plushie, the Bonnie Plushie, the Chica Plushie, the Foxy Plushie, and the Fred Bear Plushie. I don't know if he got a spring Bonnie plushie, but mm, we're going to assume he didn't. Anyway, William Afton decided to create create a restaurant dedicated to capturing children. That is insane. Anyway, he named his, like, company Afton Robotics and opened this place, Circus... Baby, Circus Baby's Pizza World. Now, instead of actually serving customers, they were there's only one animatronic, Circus Baby, and she was dedicated to trapping children inside of her. And whenever William Afton would take his kids, Evan Afton, uh, Michael Afton, and what was her name? I forgot. Elizabeth Hafton. To the restaurants, Elizabeth always wanted to see Circus Baby, and Evan always wanted to see Fred Bear. Um, and whenever Eliz- Elizabeth wanted to see Circus Baby, William Aft- her her father would always tell her no, because he knew the consequences. Now, Circus Baby was n- not dedicated to capturing children in crowds. She would make sure it's a one-on-one situation with a child. Now, um, one time, 
The Circus Baby's Pizza World was only open for a day, just so you know. And also, instead of serving just pizza and cakes, they also served ice cream as well. Anyway, one time, Elizabeth kept asking her father to go see um, Circus Baby, and he kept saying no. Eventually, he wanted to go focus on something else, leaving his daughter, and, and Elizabeth sneaked into Circus Baby's room, party room. And well, you can kind of guess what happened. You you can tell you can tell what kind of happened in just the location. Just go play the game. Um, Circus Baby kills Elizabeth Afton by luring her with ice cream. She holds it out of her stomach, and when Elizabeth grabs it, Circus Baby puts her to sleep, or pulls Elizabeth inside of her. <coughs> And then Circus Baby's eyes turn green. Eventually, William starts to know a wonder where his child went, since all the parents know where their children are. And he looks coldly at Circus Baby. How could William have let this happen? How, 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 how? He was so, he was so angry and mad, he shut the place down immediately. Everyone had to leave. Everyone left. Uh, and he shut the place down. Shut it. Shut. Shut. Shut it down. Shut. Now, after this, William was a little bit more cautious when his children went to go see the animatronics. And his wife was especially distant from her. More about Miss Mrs. Afton. We don't know her real name. Anyway, um, Evan Afton was so stubborn. He always wanted to see Fred Bear, and so his Fred Bear's family diner was not too far from his house, so he could just wa- he could just walk there without any adult supervision, hoping his father wouldn't know that he was going, because well, I mean, William didn't want him or Michael to go. But he, he he went without his father's permission. But little did Evan know, his father knew because he's a co-owner of the freaking Fredbear's Family Diner. Anyway, continuing. So William had to make a plan to stop Evan from going there, making him scared of the animal. And so... William couldn't do this alone. He got Michael Afton to help him with this. And Michael Afton would bully would bully uh, Evan Afton every day and scare him with the foxy mask. And this gradually made him more scared. Along with this, the first five nights of FNAF 4 take place. So yes, technically FNAF 4 does take place first in the series. In 1983. Anyway, so each for five nights... Um, at 12 a.m. to 6 a.m., William would set up these illusion discs that showed nightmare versions of the animatronics. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and on night five, Evan saw Nightmare Fredbear, and this made him especially scared. So whenever he went there, he was always scared to go too close to the animatronics. And one time he went to one time he went to the back and saw William uh, putting a guy into a suit, a Spring Bonnie suit. And then after night five, he he went up to he went up to Fred Bear. Well, he didn't go up to Fred Bear, but basically Michael and some other uh, uh, friends of his um, bullies with each of the masks on, Freddy mask, Bonnie mask, Chica mask, and of course Michael had the Foxy mask. Um, the bottom lots of Fred Bear, and Will, uh, Evan kept saying, no, please, let me go. Not actually what he said. But then, uh, I forgot which one he said it. But basically they said he wanted to give Fred Bear a kiss. And they brought Fred, uh, they brought him up to Fred Bear up to his mouth. 
Now, I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what Scott Coffin was thinking. Just kidding. But what were they thinking? And anyway, in Spring Lock technology, a little fun fact. If so, if there, if like a spring lock suit is in a, is like in a moist, a humid area or something, or water pours on them, the spring locks will fail. Hold on, real quickly. Hey, Ma. Um, I'm making a video right now, so after I'm done, can um, I'll talk to you. All right. Okay. Anyway, guys. Um. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, Evan started crying inside of Fredbear's mouth. Now, you can see where this is kind of going. Fredbear's mouth shuts on Evan. And all and Michael and all the bullies were surprised. They, they were surprised to know this would happen. Michael knew the consequences. And when, his fa- and when Michael's father fi- found out, William... He rushed to Fred for his family diner, calling the ambulance and the police in, the, in this process. After this, he shut he shut Fred for his family diner down. Yeah. After this, Henry did not want to work with William anymore, so he separated. Anyway, after hon. Huh, let me think of what's going on. Huh, let me recap. Oh, yeah, that's right. Evan was taken to the hospital, and this was technically night six. Night six. And on night six, Evan saw something he would never forget. It would change his life forever. It was Nightmare, a nightmarish version of Fred Bear. It's it's changed him. Now we don't know who Nightmare is. He's a mysterious animatronic. But Nightmare supposedly changed Evan forever. Forever. After this, when Evan passed away and all the plushies in front of him disappeared and he cried one last time, William went ahead and stuffed him inside the Fredbear suit along with Cassidy. Now even though uh Evan wasn't the main one in charge of the Golden Freddy suit since technically Golden Freddy had two souls inside of him. Cassie was the main one in charge. Now, it's hard to pinpoint where Evan leaves Golden Freddy, but we can assume sometime maybe around FNAF 1 because Evan does leave the Golden... Evan's soul leaves Golden Freddy's body. And I'm not sure either, but whatever. Um, anyway, after this, Henry's business is failing. And he had to find a way to make it recover. Like, people want to come back again. Because after the bite of 83 and what happened at Circus Baby's Pizza World and what happened at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, no, everyone was scared to go back to, like, Fred Bear's or... Freddy's or Circus Babies. So, Henry had an idea. He was a smart man. Probably smarter than... Probably smarter than William, if I'm being honest. Henry and Emily created these plastic animatronics. He's decided to set up a restaurant, Freddy Fazbear's Junior's Pizza, I think. Because we see that in FNAF 6. Anyway, he made it so that um, if William tries to sneak into the restaurant, he would uh, the twin animatronics would try to recognize it as him. He ma- he added a feature on there on the twin animatronics to make sure it would work. Mm, there was Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, and Toy Foxy. Well, you know what happens with Toy Foxy. She, kids start breaking her. She's put back together. Kids kept breaking her. Anyway, let's continue. They don't just add the, the main four again. They add more, like a human-looking animatronic. 
like balloon boy. Now it's hard to see if JJ was actually a part of the group, but we can assume not. I mean, I wouldn't assume so, but whatever. <coughs> And Henry made this animatronic dedicated to protecting uh, Emily. Oh, wait, hold on. What was it? Charlie. 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 I'm just going to call her Charlie. Just in case William does sneak into the restaurant and take Charlie or any children. The puppy was dedicated to especially protecting Charlie, though. But also dedicated to performing. He called this animatronic the puppet or the marionette. Now, anyway, one time, um, these bullies, again, they closed a pup, the puppet's box shut and kicked uh, Charlotte outside. And she was locked outside. She couldn't, she couldn't get back in. So, she had to continue down the alleyway that was, that was by. And so, as she continued, William appeared. And out of a car and he sh showed a surprise for her she went up to William since he she knew who he was and thought he would she would get help from him William killed her or I mean put her to sleep sorry 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 I put her to sleep put her to sleep and stopped her in the alleyway eventually Henry started to wonder where his daughter went so he uh, eventually found the puppet's box wide open, and then as he continued down the alleyway, he found the puppet lying next to what seemed to be his daughter. Now, Henry wasn't stupid. He knew this was William's fault. So, um, he didn't shut down the restaurant as he didn't want his business failing. He just decided to keep this a secret. Now, he was devastated, um, and he wanted to make sure the toy animatronics would do their job. Also, to, uh, Toy Foxy, like, the employees started getting tired of repairing Toy Foxy, so they just left her as scrap. Also, she was eventually uh, called the Mangle. And now, continuing on, eventually William managed to get a hold of five other kids. And, and, um, he put them to all to sleep. And so the puppet, who was now possessed by the mayor, uh, Charlotte, which that's what Henry thought, the puppet put all their souls into the, the toy animatronics and balloon boy. One, uh, one in Toy Freddy, one in Toy Bonnie, one in Toy Chica, one in, in Mangle, and one in Balloon Boy. And they all eventually started to think that Maybe the security guard, Jer Jeremy Fitzgerald, was. Mm, maybe their killer. Or the prayer to sleeper. Sorry. Hold on, real quick. Guess I'll get that. Um, anyway. All right, whatever. Um, so, <sighs> anyway, continuing on. Um, after I'm, after I'm done with FNAF two, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna put a separate video up. Anyway, Jeremy Fitzgerald. Sirs, five nights as of um uh as a security guard, but I think he switched over to day day shift, and a new security guard takes the night the night shift. Hmm. No, 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 huh? Yeah, no. Jeremy Fitzgerald is caught. In, oh, huh? No. One of the children was playing with the mangle, and mangle supposedly bit. 
uh, bit a child because she was tired of being torn up. This was the bite of 87. This is the one you are all familiar with. Now, it's not confirmed if Mangle actually did this or was Fredbear or any of the toy animatronics. Oh, hello. Hello, Mama. See, that's Mama. Um, but anyway, after that, they hire another security guard for the night shift. Smith Fritz, I think. I'm not sure, but whatever. After that, uh, he's fired for tampering with the AI of the animatronics after he's finished his sixth night, right? Yeah. And I don't know why, because the restaurant shut down after the bite of 87. But anyway, that is it for FNAF for the first part. Um, bye.